Well, I tried driving it, but it wouldn't go. And I crawled underneath, and I realized this is the pulley that came with the motor. This is the pulley that came off of the motor that was with this particular mower. And let me show you the difference in sizes. See that? That's enough of a difference for the belt not to stay on. And uh, so I put this one on now. Then hopefully it'll go. Hold on your hats. More fun than a barrel of milk. So I cut the top pulley off. Has a different size shaft up inside there. And I needed this spacer because the bolt is so long and I didn't have a shorter bolt. So we're going to put the pulley that belongs on with this motor and this mower. And then put this up as a spacer. See how it works. Okay, good morning folks. It's the next day. And uh, we're going to be putting this pulley on. This is the one that came with the other mower, not the other motor. And I have modified that long one that had the two pulleys on it. This is the one that actually belongs on uh, this motor. So it fits the shaft. And I have machined the end of it. And I also had to do a little machining down inside of here because it had a little nubby in there. But now this goes in here just like that. And it's a snug fit. And then I have this bushing here. It just happens to fit in there just right. And the bolt slides inside of it just right. And that'll all bolt it together. Now because this is not as long as the other one was, I got a new shorter bolt. Instead of being uh, three and a half inches long or four inches long, this one's two and a half inches long. So I'm going to bolt that up in there. And hopefully that'll take care of our being able to go. Hold on to your hat. Well, I discovered that uh, my bolt was still too long. So I've got a sleeve on it. And that'll do the trick. And still a shorter bolt than it was originally. But uh, yeah, let's let her down and let's see if it'll go now. Go, man, go. Well, for the matter of expediency, time, cost, and energy. I decided to put the original muffler back on it. So that's on. Now I think we're ready to test. Now I gotta tell you something. If you have one of these 22 horsepower like this and you want to upgrade it cheap, get another extra horsepower, you get one of these pieces here that says 23 horsepower on it. And the Shade Tree Fix-It Man just happens to have one that says 23 horsepower. I guess we'll leave well enough alone for now because this will go with that motor there. And I'm still planning on uh, tearing into that and seeing if we can get it running again. And uh, that's the original motor off of the mower that we just swapped the motor into. This is the one that had seized up, but now it's free on its own. And I'm thinking the Goofy Cart needs an upgrade in the power plant division. There she is, all done, 
And uh, I gotta tell you, not only are there differences in the engine uh, accessories and so forth, but there's also a difference in the way the hood mounts from one mower to another. You notice this one says 23V48. Well, the, mo the hood that went with the mower that the motor came out of, the 22 horsepower, there's the, the frame for that right there. And uh, I'm gonna strip it down, but I'm thinking I'm gonna save it. There's nice straight rails there. Boy, we could build something really cool out of that, I'm sure. That's another day, another time. Anyway, this one fits right because this is the mower that it belongs with and the frame that it belongs with. So another successful end to a project with the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, sharing, thumbs up, all them good things. Till next time, this is George saying bye for now. Some of you might be asking, is he going to change the oil in that thing? Been sitting for a couple of years and yeah, I'm going to change the oil. Never you fear.